trained my whole life for this. Step in the ring with me. What is going on in here? I'm coming for the world championship title. That could be it. Flying Centaur. The fireman's carry. Death Valley Driver. Oh, look at that kick. And she just tosses her across the ring like a sack of potato chips. Did you think you're the best? Vamos, let's go. What is up, everybody? We have we have finally reached the conclusion of season two of Wild Woman of Wrestling on Access TV, and this Saturday, you have a two-hour finale of Wild, which is going to cover episodes eleven and twelve. And there is so much to unravel before we get into those two episodes. But like I said, this Saturday it was going to be a two-hour event on Wild TV. Um, um, covering both episodes 11 and 12, which is the finale of season two. But before you even get to that, starting at 10 a.m. on Access TV, you have an all day event of season two of WOW where you can catch up on all of the episodes so that you are ready for 8 p.m. for the first hour. But for this um, preview episode right here. We're going to talk up. I'm, I'm going to do two. So we're going to do um, 11. Then I, the next video will be 12. Um, just so I don't keep make them so long. But um, if you've never, you know, watched any of my previews before, they are not spoilers. I just get you a little bit ready and hype for the episodes since I've already seen them. I've already got to review them. I know everything's happening. But for you, I'm getting you anticipated for the excitement, what to look out for, and all things because. It's going to be, um, again, with everything that's happened this season, it is absolutely crazy, the conclusion of each of these episodes. So you definitely want to tune in, like I said, this Saturday, 8 p.m., two-hour special for the finale of season two of Wild Woman of Wrestling on Access TV. Superplex off the third row! This is down! One, two, kick out! Jungle Girl's bold efforts proved to be not enough, and Tessa Blanchard was victorious. Top rope code breaker, there it is. This could be it. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> Tessa finally does it. In a moment of respect for Tessa's skill and determination, Jungle Girl accepted her defeat, leaving the ring without debate. With the Beast now in the number one contender position, will Tessa Blanchard be able to retain her title when she faces the unrelenting strength and power that is the Beast? A fireman's carry! Death Valley Driver! Death Valley Driver! So, episode 11. We finally are at the conclusion of the WOW um, World Tag Team Championship Tournament, uh, where we obviously are going to have the Monsters of Mad Madness, Havoc, and Hazard versus Adrenaline and Fire, and we will talk about that in one second. But before we get to there, there's a lot of other things going on. So first off, something I've been a big fan of this entire season is, is Siren of Voodoo Doll, her storyline with Holiday, and obviously with Princess Ozzy. And this episode starts off with another a good vignette. And Siren is just they're they're back to their old shenanigans. They're they're, they're sorcery. And again, she's calling the Princess Alzi and she's asking her to choose her path. Uh, you know, will she choose the path of with of with them or will she go another way? We finally are gonna get some answers, but we're not gonna get that answer this episode. You have to wait for the next episode to see that. But the calling has been put out there and we're going to see how that um ultimately ultimately unravels. Uh, but for the first match, we have a six-woman tag team match because the Psycho Sisters have been eliminated from the tournament, but they're not done with their chaos. They have uh, they have thrown out an open challenge to the Wilds locker room, and surely enough, they're answered by Sassy Massey, Chantilly Chilla, and Keita Rush. Now, the one thing about this is that the Psycho Sisters, we know they, they, they breathe chaos, and they're never scared to to, to back down from anything but as a team they are co as cohesive as they come and this newly formulated team 
with uh, Sassy Maps and Santilla Chilla along with Keita Rush. It's hard. It's hard to even think they have a chance, considering that even in in tag uh, in, in tag um, in, in in tag matches that they haven't been successful against them. And adding another member, which could possibly throw off the chaos, I could imagine that is just not going to go well. But I will I will say this: that um, you know the underdog story is very very. Um, it's, it's something I believe in a, a whole lot. So as much as, you know, the odds may be against this newly formulated team, you can never count them out. So you totally have to wait and see what happens. But I will say this. In the beginning of this match, my Psycho Sister not only issued a challenge, but they made it very, very clear that although they were eliminated from this tournament, that whoever wins this match at the end of the night, they're coming for them. They like shiny new tours, and they're going to make sure that they have a stake in, 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 in the claim for those championship titles once somebody claims them. But yeah, so the next match you now have is uh, the Disciplinarian managed by the IQ Superior, Samantha Smart versus the Pearl of the Philippines, Rena Reyes. Now, as of recent, the Disciplinarian has uh, really been losing her cool. I don't like her, very un uncharacteristics. Um, and yeah, that tantrum and so forth, has she's really been flipping out, so. I don't know. I think it, it, as good as she is, you know, um, it, when you're you're not truly being yourself, and uh, and you know, a lot of this, a, a lot of this anger and temper is kind of driving her right now. Um, that could cause some just mischief in her home camp. Period. Uh, the IQ superior obviously is gonna it's going to instruct her, but if she can't keep her composure, what is she gonna do? Well, on the other side. Uh, Rena Reyes has completely underwent a transformation this season, and she has just breeded a new confidence. The future is absolutely bright. The match with her and Tessa Blanchard is one of my favorite matches this year. So when I look at this match on paper, we know Rena Reyes loves to fly, and the if the disciplinarian wants to actually stand a chance and Picking up a victory here, well, not only she's going to have to keep her attitude grounded, she's going to have to keep Raina Reyes grounded. So you just have to wait and see how that one plays out. But uh, um, I can't stress enough that uh, Raina Reyes is just, she's a star. And the becoming of her uh, this season has been beautiful to watch. So finally, the main event. Tonight, we will crown the new WOW Tag Team Champions of the World. Last week's triple threat elimination match witnessed Holodet and Siren the Voodoo Doll having their championship dreams dashed. Hudikin Rana bringing her back down, double clothesline, air raid crash. One, two, three. Leaving the teams of fire and adrenaline and the monsters of madness, Havoc and Hazard, ready to do battle. The battle is set for tonight and the winner will become the new WOW World Tag Team Champions. So now we, we finally get to the main event. We've been, the tournament has been amazing to watch this entire season. And, you know, now that the new belts, the, the old roles have led to, to this moment. And now that we've, we, we see the new belts, we, we know who, who are the, the final two in the tournament are all moments has finally led to this moment. Now, what's really interesting is that there's only three matches on this card. So, you know, for time's sake that this last match is absolutely going to be brutal. And there's a lot of story to be made here. Now, when we're looking at the Monsters of Madness, who are have to be the heavily favorite here, um, from power, from size, from strength, from dominance, it's surely the easy way to go here. But Fire and Adrenaline, more of the coincidence of the formulation of their tag team with speed and, and again, the underdog story, you really can't count them out because the two of them organically have been amazing to watch. It's just been, it's, it's, it's just been something that you have, you, you just some, somehow, some way you found a little bit of yourself always wanting to cheer for them despite anything, just because of um, how this all came together. But, you know, 
this match right here was just so good because the 40s women are four of the best in WoW. They all deserve to be in this moment. I It's hard for me to pick who I would want to win here. Easily, I could go with either way. Poor referee Jeff McCown, uh, McGowan, excuse me. He has a hard job to task here because it's, it's going to be hard hitting. We know that they're going to... This this match can go all over the Belasco Theater. It's you know these women want this moment. They worked so hard this entire season for this moment. What are they going to do? They're going to lay it all out on the line, and there's nothing, I, nothing. If if you ask me, nothing is going to prevent them from picking up the win. So you want to watch this match? It's absolutely amazing. Um, and even when you think about you know some of the historical factors here, Havits picking up a singles win over fire uh last season and the two of these tag teams have really never lost but maybe only once um you know but other than that they've been on just a mean streak of dominance to both of them and now that the two forces are colliding i mean all the stakes on the line this this is it who are going to pick up these new shiny silver belts in the conclusion of episode 11 of the first hour of the two hour premiere but also, ladies and gentlemen, also, no matter what, you want to stay tuned because the conclusion of this match is absolutely crazy. And we know that no matter whoever wins, they automatically have a target on the back. We've already had a call out from the Psycho Sisters earlier. You never know who may potentially show up to make their claim for the new tag, World Tag Team Championships. So stay tuned. And for this first part of this uh, preview, step over to the next video so we can talk about episode 12. I catch you there.